Okay, what I think is great about this problem is that it forces us to cube our conversion factors. It's got um, too many different conversions to actually write them all out, so um, it really forces our hand. So I think that's uh, really good for us at this point in time. But anyway, so what we're really converting is volume to mass and in order to do that, well, we're converting volume from feet cubed to mass in kilograms. So we're going to have to uh, use uh, several conversion factors. The first being one foot equals 12 inches. The next being one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Both of those you should know. The problem gives you the density of ice at 0.917 grams per cubic centimeter. Um, and you're going to use that as your third conversion factor. So in order to do get the mass of ice, um, you write down that volume, uh, 8,975 feet cubed. And then you're going to use that first conversion factor, putting feet in the denominator inches in the numerator so you can cancel out feet but you're gonna have to cube the whole conversion factor so make sure you're cubing your um, 12 that was well the number 12 um, same thing with the next conversion factor 2.54 centimeters divided by one inch because you want to get those inches cubed out of there you're gonna cube that 2.54 centimeters and now you have uh, centimeters cubed but you don't want centimeters cubed, you don't want volume at all, so uh, using the density, that's going to convert the volume to the mass, so that's nice. So uh, putting the cubic centimeters on the bottom, that's going to give us uh, units of grams, but the problem wants uh, the answer to be given in kilograms. So you know that there's a uh, thousand grams per kilogram, so you're going to cancel uh, your grams out and that's going to leave you with the units of kilograms and then from the uh, initial values given in the problem the volume was four sig figs so you're going to have your answer to four sig figs 2.330 times 10 to the fifth kilograms okay so make sure you have your correct units correct significant figures, the correct scientific notation, and you should be good. Let me know if you need any help with this one.